I feel the most joyous with the sisters when I'm helping them with family camp, which I've been doing, gosh, every year for 50 years, ever since we went on that first family camp. Every summer after that, I would go back to, to help the sisters, either as a, a staff assistant, then as a seminarian, and now as a priest for the last 35 years. Where I first find that joy is just by, just by being with them at family camp and seeing how they interact with all the different families. Families who have been going there for years, and families who are experiencing it for the first time. And then here at the retreat center, I also get to experience that kind of joy with the sisters. And I, I just like being here with them as much as I can because they remind me of the kind of joy that I've always wanted to have in my vocation. Joy to me is that feeling of inner peace deep in my heart, even on a, like a soul level where all of the complications of the world kind of disappear and I'm over here doing my part, doing what God wants me to do, working with all of the amazing sisters and all of the kids and families. I think it really brings a lot of peace into my heart and that's what I find joy as over here. Joy is savoring the beauty of a sunflower. Joy is love. Joy is working with the sisters. My first experience dropping my daughters off at the camp, um, I was just really struck and um, really felt it deep in my heart, the joy that the sisters had and just, they really, just the care that they have for the girls, um, you know, they really just make an effort to make the girls feel welcome to the camp and, um, and just a, such a loving and, um, and caring way. And because they feel that, that warmth and that care and that joy that the sisters have, it makes the girls more open to learning about their faith. At the camp, um, especially like for the older girls, after um, campfire, we were um, we reflect on the gospels, and um, also just the setting really makes you wonder about God. Like you know, staring up at the stars or looking into the campfire, um, and just asking yourself like, what does this mean to you? You know, the gospel. And so I think through that, I was able to establish more of a stronger relationship with God. The, the gift of silence, um, when you go to camp, like Marianne said, you, you have those moments of um, they'll read a gospel passage and then they'll send you off to, to out in the woods somewhere. You go and find a, a quiet spot and just that silence and that reflection. And I think that um, having that space, having that time is just helps us to hear God's whispers. And I think once any person is able to do that, then that is where they can find true joy. There's a quote that Sister Ida has that says, um, the more you become closer to God, the more you become yourself. And I think that's really embodied in the sisters and just how you can see how close they are to God because they're just 100% fully themselves.